the truth. It's waiting for us just beyond the darkness. I'm Grant Houston, and we're the Washington Mystery Society. We travel all around the nation to shed some light on some of America's spookiest enigmas. Today, we have a very special episode for you, because today, we're going to track down the man, the myth, the legend, the goat man. According to the stories, the Goat Man was once a researcher working in the Beltsville Agricultural Research Center in Beltsville, Maryland. He was researching on goats when a freak accident turned him into a goat-human hybrid. The military captured him and transported him to a secret underground base. Not that one. The legendary Dulce base here in northern New Mexico. But, as they were crossing the state line into New Mexico, the goat man broke free, killed all of his guards, and has been living alone in the wilderness ever since. And has never officially been recaptured. But, locals here in the nearby farming communities claim to have had encounters with researchers and government officials who they believe are monitoring and observing the goat man in the wild. Some even theorize that the government encourages people to enter his territory just to see what will happen. But whether or not the government knows about the creature's whereabout, or if he's still alive, or has ever existed, remains a mystery. And with a little bit of luck, we'll crack this mystery wide open. Testing, well, testing. This time. <sighs> Insert generic behind the scenes bullshit in. here. Something like three or four hours out, because last time it was like super awkward when we were just sitting there. You remember that? When we. Are you even paying attention right now? Yeah, dude. You're not shirtless in this one or anything, you know? Well, you know what? With the macho bullshit. I'm the one who has to be in front of the camera more than all of you, so. It is what it is. Wait. Hold on, we're only doing one interview? No. I feel like we should at least have three or four. Oh I mean, you know, they, that way we can cut it in with the witnesses and no. stuff. No, one planned interview. This guy, I think he'll be great. He was the head deputy or something on this, like, I don't know, years ago. The freaking guy's obsessed now. Yeah, but what about the witnesses? We're gonna, oh my god, have you not been paying attention? You heard this, right? It's a freaking, we're gonna get him candid off the street, like we did up in Malpy Cemetery type thing, remember that? <laughs> Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Dean, are you good with that? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's holding. Good, because last time your audio was fucking bullshit. I don't want to have to rely on this guy again. What? Nothing. You're fine. Just do do you. Do your thing. Can you guys say something? <laughs> Dude. We've we've literally been speaking this whole time. Oh, I couldn't hear anything. I wasn't scared. Oh shit, dude, you almost pissed your pants. Dude, do you remember Fire Trail Road? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was three Classic. years ago. Travis, you knew Dale was in the back seat. 
Like we literally told him to scare you in front of you. <laughs> And then he still scared you. Yeah, but I was like resting on the window, like half sleep. You know, it doesn't really count. So. <laughs> oh, God. Witnesses can be tough. You need to verify their story, but you don't want to insult them. You're going to get the classic line, I know what I saw. But even a cop can tell you that eyewitnesses aren't terribly reliable. In the moment, if you're panicked or scared, you're trying to process what you're seeing and it can be hard to separate the fact from the fiction. And you need to do that, but how? It just seems a little out there, you know, like a guy actually becoming a half goat. Like, what kind of experiments was he doing? It's just kind of stupid, if you ask me. I mean. <laughs> you, but you say that about everything. You just, every time it's, oh, it's not a ghost, it's not a Wendigo, it's not a bat swatch. I mean, what else is it, you know? My God. Do not make me come back there. <laughs> Jesus, Travis, the goat man is trending. That is all that matters. Do not worry about it. Freaking just eat your burrito. Are you the one with the burrito? Yeah, but I almost finished mine. He hasn't eaten his yet at all. Oh, okay. I'm burrito this. Sightings of events are always going to be more beneficial than a single eyewitness, but in the cases of unknown or unexplained phenomena, it gets a little bit more interesting. Say you see a UFO, I mean something you don't understand, not necessarily a real alien spaceship. Your brain sees something it wasn't expecting to see, usually just for a second, and it tries to make sense of it, so your brain fills in the gap by putting its own form in to help it be easier to understand the process. But if that's the case, what happens when people report seeing the same thing? Are their brains really taking the same information and processing the same forms in the exact same way? Or are they really seeing something? Welcome to Little Town, USA. Population, small. As in less than your average high school small. What secrets could be buried here? The only way to find out is to start digging. Yes. Okay, keep recording. Do another loop. Um, and you just get some more, get some more B-roll of the town. Sure. Out the window. Yep. It's fine. Um, you have the cookies back there. Uh, yeah, they're in the back. Yeah. Script, by the way. Can I have a cookie? Okay. Are they incredibly difficult to get? Well, it's holding this big. Big boy, you can handle it. It's in this giant thing, you know, but yeah, sure. Ooh, there's chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. We're, we're plan okay, hold on. We're planning on putting audio over this, right? I mean, I this is so much crinkling. How do you still have energy for human? Oh, I've been driving for like days. Man. Damn it. Alright. Give me a cookie. <laughs> hey, Grons, uh, how close are we? Yeah, I'll cookie. <laughs> I'm going straight to my ass. <laughs> A nice little town. We're pretty close now, right? You don't remind me of. I can't talk when it's cooking my mouth. Why is everyone ignoring me? shop and they had the Bigfoot stuff. Yeah, it was a Bigfoot souvenir shop. Oh, yeah. And then he walks in there and he picks up a jar of Mount St. Helens ash. <laughs> and no, I had the jar and I was like, we're, I was like, look, Mount St. Helens ash. And he goes, where do you think they got that from? <laughs> and there's two old ladies that are legitimately shopping in the store and just look over at him like this fucking idiot. <laughs> No, no, you're fine. Just, just look, just look right at the camera. That one? Yeah, yeah. Ignore me. I'm just getting some B-roll. B-roll. Yeah, it's uh, it's nothing. Just look at him. Some people think he's something more, a demon maybe. Is this supposed to be showing? <laughs> yes, it's fine. Look, why don't we just start with your name? Oh, hold up. Hey, Pete. <sighs> And he's got tomato starts at the feed store. You going there today? <sighs> Down there. <clears throat> Sorry about that. My name's Buck Fletcher. 
Maybe he's Baphomet himself, come to judge our souls. I know what I saw, okay? You're whatever camera guy over here, he can laugh all he wants, but he ain't gonna be laughing when that thing rips into pieces. Okay, alright, okay. You know, I, I think we're good. I think we have enough. I think we're good. No, you don't. You ain't been listening. That thing's huge. He's ruthless, and he'll rip your head off and shit down your neck sooner than let you film his ass. You got it? Dean, cut. Well, those interviews were thoughtful. My bad, guys. Fuck impromptu interviews. <laughs> Doesn't help that these folks are nuts. I mean, shit, there's more trailers than teeth in this town. <laughs> well, let's do this. Uh, Dean, are you rolling? Yeah, um, here, Travis, you do film this, you got a better angle. You'll probably be able to see this. I kind of just typed it up out of my ass, but whatever. If we need to put in some B-roll or something over it, that's fine. I'm just going to read it, and we'll just go from there. Yeah. Um, does it look okay? Yeah. As good as it can be. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's good. Good All right. <clears throat> well, our first two interviews were... were let, me, let me look at the camera. Okay. Well, our first two interviews were interesting, to say the least. If anything, they gave us into... If anything, they gave us a window into some of the culture behind the Goatman mythos. Our next stop is to meet with Harlan Owens, an ex-sheriff's deputy who claims to have some experience in dealing with Goatman attacks and interviewing some of the witnesses. Will this be just the tip we're looking for? There's only one way to find out. Alright. That's probably good. We switch to our Wham shirts. So I don't know if you can pull over and we can switch, or what? Uh, yeah, we want to do that. Uh, I'll pull over. Everybody take your shirts off. We can change in the old folks' parking lot. <laughs> or the school? Uh, the school, uh, oh, that's no. the, the school is empty. <laughs> it is a Saturday. Not. Oh no, they will oh, see no. you. Oh no! Don't look at me! If that car crashes right now because <laughs> they were strapped. <laughs> Alright, get out of here. Ah. <laughs> not on the cookies! What are you doing? <laughs> Do not throw that on the cookies. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so professional. Don't worry about the camera. Just treat it like a conversation. Ready? Okay, let's start with your name. My name is Harlan Owens. I was a deputy with the local sheriff's department until about seven years ago. I'm, uh... Well, I've been following this case for a long time. We were called to a report of a found body in backcountry about 50 miles north of here. A young woman was doing some cross-country prep. Thing is, when I got the autopsy report back, it was mostly redacted, but was officially reported as a mountain lion attack. I tried to tell her family there was more to it than that, but then I got a visit. Two men showed up at my door. One was a man in black, the other looked like G.I. Joe. They told me to drop it. <laughs> All right. This is what I wanted to show you. See, I had a body cam on when we found the girl, and I was able to sneak some copies after I saw the autopsy report. She's over here. Oh, I think we got a cougar. Or a bear. Something. Stay here. Gotta go call that in. Hey Walt, Court Owens. Yeah, we found her. Just better bring the team. The body. It's something big. Bring the rifles. This thing's gonna be sick. What you couldn't see was her stomach. She wasn't clawed open like an animal might do. It, it um, well, it really looked like she'd been chopped open, like with an axe. But there weren't any human tracks. And the rest of it definitely didn't fit an animal attack. Broken bones, bruise patterns, I don't know. If it was a person, they would have had to have been a real big bastard. Just didn't add up. I know giving you this footage is against the law, but you know what? Fuck that. Her family wanted to know what really happened. Their little girl is gone. They deserve to know the truth. I lost everything because of this. Goddamn feds got me fired, threatened my family, my wife left. All I want is for those parents to know the truth. They can threaten me with more bullshit all they want. As long as the truth gets out there, I just want to help. I know this goat man shit is nuts, but well, honestly, it makes sense. Why would they redact the autopsy? Why would the army care? Here. 
I've been tracking disappearances, you know, mostly tourists and backpackers. People go missing all the time, but not in these numbers. Find the spot with the densest number of incidents, and that's the best place to start looking. Got it all right here. I want you to have this. Take that and talk to Harley Becker. I'll get you his address. He's a farmer who lives up on the edge of town. His family's always talked about seeing some weird stuff. Just take what he says with a grain of salt. There's something weird about that guy. His family's been around a long time, and I guess he did some time in the city. Anyway, for a guy who's been farming for 10 years, he sure doesn't know much. I don't know. I guess I'm just paranoid. Well, one out of three isn't bad. Hey, we got a location and a lead. Yeah. Yeah, so are we just not going to talk about that fucked up footage? Shit, shit, dude! Oh, what? 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 what the? Get that! Did you see that? Hey, yeah, what? <laughs> so what? There's lots of cars in this town. Not with government plates. Did it have government plates? I didn't see. I'm sure it did. Hey, that's got to mean something. Let's call this farmer guy. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Well, except some fishing, but we finally have a bite. Not only do we have a good location to start our search, but we've also identified a key witness who may have some important information. Now, Mr. Owen's story is a tragedy, but like he said, we owe it to the victim's families to find the truth. And not only that, but let's not forget about the seriousness of this situation. We spotted at least one car watching us so far. Was it federal agents? Army personnel? Let's just hope we don't have to find out the hard way. Harlan sent you guys to the right place. That's for sure. All right, Grant, you good? Okay. Three, two, one, action. So you have seen the monster. Uh, work your name in there, too. Sure. My name's Harley Becker. My family's lived in this area for about three generations. And you bet I've seen him. A few times. But let me tell you guys something. He's, he's smart. Very smart. Like a, like a man. He's not really a monster, unless you make him out to be one. What do you mean by that? Well, he's territorial. He's out there, living the good life all by himself, all alone, you know? So if you don't bug him, he won't bug you. It's a good deal. I wouldn't say he's inherently evil, just that he doesn't, he doesn't like invaders. But around here, we've all heard the stories. If you go out there, you will die. Good to know. <laughs> I'm serious, I'm serious. I'm just looking out for you guys. If you want to take your camera and go into town and film, that's great. If you want to go into the woods, and just outside, maybe make something up, that's perfect too. But if you go out there too far, you will regret it. Travis, I'm telling you, even even the camera is gonna sound better than that stupid thing without your mic attached to it. I mean, maybe, but I'm just being safe. Whatever. We'll probably just reshoot this anyway when we get there, but we could actually just do it over as a voiceover. But let's let's do it in the car. Let's just try it. Sure. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm rolling. I'm gonna hand you the camera. Okay. For a better angle on Grant. It's kind of. It might be kind of washed out with the window right there, but that's okay. We'll just try it. All right, okay. let me know when you're, when you're ready. ready and action. <clears throat> another day, another lead. We've triangulated all the most recent sightings to a four square mile area about an hour north of town. Oh, 
locals used to frequent the area for hunting. But now, there's another hunter stalking the area. That's good. Was that, that was okay? Yeah, that works. It wasn't too dramatic? I mean, it's dramatic, but, you know, it's not too bad. I think yeah. it'll work. Well, we're set up for night one. Before we uh, go do our thing up further, this will be our nice humble abode. I guess it has been for as long as it takes to drive from friggin' Washington to friggin' New Mexico. Grant, we probably will just wait to film any intro shit till we're up there. But for what it's worth, here's our slob-like mess. And, uh, Travis. Travis, we're gonna stick you in the baby bunks back here by yourself. And then what I'm gonna do is just smear a ton of peanut butter all over the windows so that like wolves and stuff just come up. And then, you know, they can like lick at you. Got anything? This. Just this. Nice. I've actually eaten a little more than one thing. Well, after a long day. GPS receiver, oops. Sitting Don't. out here. Nice relaxing night with the bull in the backy. Sitting with my friend, Bush. I mean, you don't have to say anything, it's just B-roll. <laughs> My favorite comment was disrespectful. <laughs> no, that was after Glow Vista. There was the actually a comment on the Wendigo. No, I saw that too. I think I liked it. That legitimately said disrespectful. <laughs> I think I went on my personal my personal account and liked it. And actually, I think I did it on this one too. I, I believe I liked it on my account. There was another person that was said something about like, so glad I wasted an hour and a half of my life or whatever and I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> so you still watched it. I am officially recording everything because this battery's got 97 minutes and 2,134 minutes on this internal hard drive. <laughs> so, my internal hard drive. All right, well, let's just, uh, I don't honestly know if we'll end up using the external IR light, but I figured I've got it, so. Sure. All right, we're gonna head this way. I'm actually going to switch out of night vision because it's very hard for it. Is my autofocus just not on? Where's the autofocus button at? I don't know, man. It's not my camera. I mean, it's totally my camera, but I don't really use it. Mode and... Oh, shit. <laughs> and recording. Recording. We're in night vision. Testing out his... Whatever bullshit eBay new camera. I didn't say you bought it years ago. Yeah, I did buy it years ago. It was great at the time. It was great at the time. That's why I said his whatever bullshit eBay one. Because he hasn't used it. So. What we're going to do is. Just go up. A quarter mile to get an idea. Oh, see, this thing doesn't even autofocus me. Hold on. You're not doing it right. How do you not do the autofocus right? It's literally autofocus. There it goes. It's fine. See? See? Anyway, we're going to do a quarter mile just to get the idea of how far the road goes beyond where the trailer is. And then, well, we'll go from there. For us to see. Frank. I think somebody was trying to send us this warning. Oh my god. It's a broken stick in the middle of the woods. Unquestionable evidence of a goat man. <laughs> Where are them bagels at? Where are them Blueborough bagels at? Blueborough? Ah, yes. The famous Blueborough. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, well, what's what you're hiding me for? One of the things I do is make sure we have good audio. No. He doesn't get paid for this. We're just friends, and you know that you're doing this. <laughs> Nobody tell him that. Uh. 
about him. I think it, so maybe he thinks he's getting paid this whole time, but he's not getting paid. Um, what the, film everything! <laughs> Just don't stop filming. The people need to know that he had to test the audio. The story has to be told. <laughs> the government's going to find out, but the people need to know <laughs> that he tested the audio on this day. Okay. okay. Now you can plug this back into whatever it needs to be plugged into, take whatever cable's out of it. I'm going to put this back. You can put that back, swap it for that one, and we're good to go. Okay. So, we're going to drive up as long as the road can go, which is, I think, 10 miles? Yeah. We walked a little bit of it yesterday. Yeah. So, get, like, a shot of us pulling away from the trailer, and then... We'll get a little bit of B-roll, like, behind the truck. Okay. Once we get up there, we'll have you get out and we'll get that B-roll. And then, when we get up to the actual end of the road, we'll hike it from there. It's it's another, you know, couple hours. Cool. Okay. So, so, yeah, just... Get a good spot here. That's good. And then uh, once we get up, yeah, this is like past this little tree right here. <laughs> Hop out and stand behind us. And we'll get a good shot of the back of the truck, maybe right around this curve. Gotcha. All right, you're not gonna leave me again, are you? We're not gonna leave you again. Okay. We might leave you again. We're not leaving again. Uh, Why is it locked there for safety? Ugh. And then just right behind us. Okay. All right. God damn it. Fuck. Hey, when we get up there, I want to do some wild sound. Yeah, I'll go with you. We could use a B-roll. You know what, actually, Dean, get up here, and I want to just do this bit while we hike. <clears throat> oh, do you want me to stop? No, 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 it's fine. Just keep going. <clears throat> but, I know. Yeah. It's going to look like shit, you know? No, no. Well, that's good, because, you know, we're walking, we're hiking, it'll look more real. So get, get in front of him. <clears throat> well, I mean, we can do a safety when we stop. Do you want to, do you want to go over this? Yeah. You know what? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut here. You know. Okay. How's how's that? Does it look cool? Hold on. Hold on. Do one of these. Slightly, you know. Should we redo that? Yeah. Do it. Uh, start a new one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're speeding. All right. Well, we finally made it. The great outdoors. <sighs> it's not until you get out here that you realize just how vast nature really is. We get so used to our cities, giant malls, people watching us all the time. But out here, there's none of that. It's not hard to think that something could easily be hiding, but it can't hide from us. I think cool. that was better, honestly. Yeah, yeah that was good. All right. all right, let's get to base camp. <laughs> I love Ponderosa that. Pines. I, I love, love it. it. 
been like no underbrush thing, so nice. Yeah, like Eastern Washington, Idaho. And you know what's funny is like, you miss it. Well, we've been setting up base camp, and as I've been exploring the perimeter, I came across this. Now, I'm trying to determine if this could be maybe a deer, elk, caribou, reindeer, coyote, mountain lion, or Travis. <laughs> <laughs> Filming me, setting up a tent, all by myself, again! Yeah, Travis, get your ass over there and help him. I gotta do other stuff. Hmm. <sighs> it's alright, I can do it by myself faster than they can do it together. <laughs> what are you, an eagle scout or something? <laughs> yes, actually. Here we are, base camp, our home for the next week. Here we are, base camp. Here we are, base camp. Here we are, base camp, our home for the next three weeks. Plus, we're smack in the middle of where Mr. Owens was able to place the most common sightings over the last three years. We have all of our standard camping equipment, plus all of our investigation gear. We're gonna set up a perimeter around the camp about 25 feet out with motion sensors. That will alert us the moment something large passes by. We also have these micro cameras. They're equipped with infrared lights and are equipped to turn on with a live feed as soon as they detect motion. They're also handy to strap to our backs to see if something's following us in the night. When we're actively investigating, we'll of course have our standard camera our secondary camera, audio equipment, nope. and a casting kit for any tracks that we might find. We also have a black light, and we can use that to detect any blood or urine. Everything is set up to, let's start from the top. Everything is set up to give a live feed back to our base camp where our director Frank will be monitoring. Yeah. So start with, just re-say that part. Yeah, okay. pick, pick that part up, uh, yeah. And everything is set up to deliver a live feed back to our base camp, where our director Frank will be monitoring. That's good. Okay, so cut there. And uh, don't worry about like the weird, you know, half and half, because um, I want to add in some, uh, some B-roll over that. So okay. we'll be good. We'll do like a montage over the rest of it. And we're good. Okay. So cut. Okay, well, I guess this is the part where I'm supposed to give the big safety talk and all, you know, so be safe. Don't be a bunch of dinglings, you know. <laughs> I don't need a bunch of dinguses running around in the woods. But hey, but in all seriousness, though, there's a lot of stuff out there that's actually dangerous. Murdering, you know, goat mutants aside. Be careful. I want standard procedure. I want everybody to take a radio. You guys keep together. Check-ins every 30 minutes. Cool. Cool. All right. Um, okay, map. Well, as best as I could get. So this is us right here on the side of the clearing. There's the old trail. What I want uh, cars back here is, since we're already burning daylight, just go out like a mile. Go to the compass points, circle around, mark them on the GPS. And get in a sense for the area. You know, we're gonna be here for a while, so keep an eye out for the trails, look for game trails, anything like that. Game trails? I, I, this thing isn't a big carnivore, is it? No, but cougars are. You know, it's good to get a sense of what's out there, so. Cougars? Yeah, they're big cats. I told you they were out here. That's why we have a gun. I'll be honest, I thought you were making a joke when you said that. I think he was hoping it was the other kind of cougar. Jesus Christ. Dude, don't worry about it. We're in the wild now. It's fine. I'll keep you safe, little buddy. Gee, thanks, Ted. Whatever. We're, we're done here, okay? I think we're good. 
So uh, let's get rolling. I think we're fine. Yep. Let's go find us a goat man. So it's pointless. It's just gonna pick up the wind in our feet. Even with the dead cat, it's a directional microphone. It makes no difference whatsoever. That's why you got the shotgun. Okay, okay, jeez. Well, I'm not lazy. All right, hey, hold up here. Hey, grant to base. Go for base. We just got to the east perimeter. I'm going to mark it on the GPS and then we'll head back your way. Sounds good, guys. We'll see you in about an hour. All right, come on, this way. Sounds good. Okay, really. Okay, this is it. I think we're onto something here. At first, I thought this was just a regular game trail, and then I noticed that the ground and the brush around us is a bit more disturbed than it should be. And then I saw this. Come here, can you see this? This looks cloven, this track, like a deer or maybe an elk, or perhaps something more. We have the casting kit. Go get it. I got it. Um, you want to actually cause that? Yeah, why not? Because it's a deer print. Clearly. I don't know, maybe. Well, I don't know. Do you even want to like get home today? Yeah, he's got a point, man. It's a yes. deer. Oh, God, you gotta be kidding me. Listen, you're the one who's supposed to be obsessed with this, by the way. I've never seen you be skeptical about anything. Sure, yeah, I'm a believer, and I believe that this is a deer. Well, look at this. Come here. It's deeper in the back. Yeah, so? So that indicates that it's walking backwards. And uh, what, deer cannot walk backwards? Like seriously? Okay, fine, they can, but why would they? That's very uncommon. There's nothing out here for it to fear. Except bears and cougars. Well, listen, if we check the partials, I'm sure we'll figure it out. And also look and at And what? And look at the strides. The spacings are all off, as if it was from a human stride. <laughs> you sound like some kind of answer weirder than me. Look, whatever. I I'm, I'm, I'm casting this one, all right? You sure you want me using this thing? Yeah. That one's picture is shit compared to this one. Even with the night vision. Huh? All right. Hey, are you guys sure you don't want to take this with you? No, no, it's fine. You're alone. Besides, we don't want to scare anything. We're not that kind of hunting show. All right, well, I think you guys are all set then. We got about an hour till night. So get ready whatever you need, but I think we're pretty good here. Uh, but look, it's gonna be dark. Be careful, okay? I don't need any broken ankles, especially you again, Gimpy. Aw, so. you do care. <laughs> whatever. Kill the lights. Okay, but I'm definitely getting back. Can you see anything? No. It, it must be too far away. Well, what do you want to do? Should we call to it? What? Are you serious? Mother well, left at St. Hill. Do you even know what noise a goat man makes? I don't know. Bob? That's a sheep thing is. Oh, you guys shut up. It has got to be right there. Good thing you left a gun. You know what? Screw this, I gotta check this out. Grant, what the hell? Are you trying to get us killed? It was right here. It had to be. 
Wait, what if it was a fucking mountain lion or a bear? It wasn't. Oh, oh, sure, yeah, it wasn't. I thought I was the crazy believer here. What? what? Oh my god. We're on to something here, kids. I left the receiver on the table. Something has set off the camp's motion sensors. Let me turn this damn thing on. Jeez. Oh, yeah. That was over here. Okay. Something is definitely out there, circling the camp. It's a cougar or something. Shit! <sighs> Sorry. Holy oh, shit, did something just throw that? Okay. Fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Hey, who is out there? What are you doing? The goddamn cougar did not just throw a fucking boulder at us. Harlan, is that you? Becker? This is fuck. You know what? This shit. Hey, we're armed. Hey, what the fuck was that? Did you see it? No, we didn't see shit. Well, whatever it was, I don't think it's used to being challenged like that. He must have scared it away with that rock. Scared? That thing sounded pissed. This is awesome. <laughs> Well, whatever. Let's just uh, let's just go back to sleep. We'll we'll check the area in the you know in the morning for tracks. <laughs> That's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, come on, Travis. Aren't you at least a little bit excited? I mean, this is exactly why we came out here. <laughs> I'm not trying to get killed by predators in my sleep. Okay. <sighs> whatever. I'm going back to sleep. You can stay out here and play guard or whatever. <laughs> well, folks, we're definitely onto something. Well, there's no doubt about it. Something was definitely here last night. And let me tell you one thing. Cougars and bears do not throw rocks. Weirder still, our motion sensors went off last night, but our cameras didn't pick up anything. Hey, check this out. So, there's a few things. So, as you know... Hold up. Wait, what? Don't say as you know. It's stupid. What? Why? What? Whatever. Okay. Do I need to start again? Are we good? Are we fine? No, 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 no. Just take it up right there. You're okay. fine. Well, so, we had motion sensors up. Sensors went off. This camera, it didn't get anything. And its sensor alarm didn't go off either. But the one on the other side of camp did. So whatever sent that off, this is where the rock came from. So it circled through the brush here and through the tree line to get over to here. Now these cameras, they're not just facing straight out. We, uh, we have them facing kind of like in a circle, facing each other. That way if something comes and messes with one of the cameras, like at St. Helens, we can see what did that messing with. But they do kind of shoot like, like in a V, so it can see things, you know, 15, 10, whatever feet out. But, there's two things. First of all, I just noticed this. We know there's obviously deer here, their shit is everywhere, but check this out. Whoa. We got bones right here. We might have stumbled into something's feeding ground, you guys. Also, this is a freshly worn patch of dirt, like something used to be sitting right here. Like the rock that was thrown at us last night. And this spot is right outside the range of where that sensor could have seen it. It's like whatever saw it knew that that sensor would be right there. Well, how could it know exactly where the sensor ended? I don't know, I mean, Dean, what do you know about these cameras? I mean, those cameras use infrared. Infrared? Yeah, 
Well, humans can't see infrared. Yeah, most things can't see infrared. Well, Mr. Becker did say it was that the Goatman was very intelligent. I just wonder if he could maybe see infrared. I mean, you know, I've heard Bigfoot can sometimes see infrared. I don't know. I don't know. Guys, come over here. Yeah. Look at this. Holy shit. Are you kidding me? Did you just do this? No, of course I didn't do this. I, I came up here to get a shot of you guys and it was here. Holy crap. Do you know what this means? I think there's something intelligent out here with us. Oh yeah, well someone. Well, it's certainly not a deer. Nothing normal could have done this. This isn't good guys, we should really get out of here. Are you kidding me? That's This is why we're here. Well, am I kidding? You weren't so excited last night. Well, I, I didn't want to scare it away, and we didn't know what we were dealing with. Well, what are we dealing with? The goat man. Why are you even out here, Travis? Listen, I believe in this. Dean believes in this. Hell, even Frank believes in this. What about you, huh? Why are you out here? I didn't come out here to get killed. That thing's a warning. No, it's not. Listen, even if it was a human who did this, they're not just going to come out and murder four tourists. If it was an animal, they're not just going to come out and attack a group of humans, I okay? Said. What? Harley said what? He said that the goat man doesn't like people and that he kills invaders. <laughs> oh, so now you do believe it. Wait, what? No, I just- Listen, you're gonna be okay, all right? Listen, we've never found anything like this before. And if this is real, then we are so fucking close, all right? We've never found anything like this. Hell, nobody has. This is our last chance, and we need you, okay? Please, just a couple more days. If this gets worse, then we can leave. Fine. All right. There. <laughs> what did I tell you? I knew this would work. What? Uh, <laughs> Here, okay, I'm gonna rewind this. Um, this is his back camera footage from earlier. Look like right there um, in a few seconds. Boom, right there. What'd I tell you guys? Looks like strapping a camera to my back wasn't so stupid after all, Frank. I don't know. What is it? It's something. Shit, man. Might be our goat man. No. No, that's a person. It's whoever left us that warning sign, I'm telling you. You mean whatever left us that warning sign? Dean, really with that again? Well, did you see how far away it was? The thing had to be huge. I mean, at least six feet. So? You're over six feet tall. Grant, you're over six feet tall. Okay, well, what do you think it was? I don't know, like I said, probably a person. Jesus Christ, you honestly think that there's some redneck out here following us? How should I know? But this isn't funny anymore. I mean, clearly somebody's at you. Good. Good. We're looking for something. We are looking for something. If it's out here, that's good. Stop being such a little- A little what? Enough! God damn with you two. I don't give a shit what anybody thinks. It's what is out there that matters. We are a team, now act like it. Buddy, will you act like it? Jesus Christ. Okay, look guys. The simple fact of the matter is, someone might be messing with us out here. And if they are, they could be a hell of a lot more dangerous than some animal. But if this is real, I mean, shit, if this is real, that's a hell of a discovery. So be careful out there, okay? No bullshit this time. We stick to the, the 30 minute check-ins on the radio. I don't want you guys going out more than three quarters of a mile. Start at that weird ritual altar of warning bullshit that you found earlier today. You do a hundred yard sweep radius from there, you come back. Okay? Simple? Alright. Mm -hmm. All right. We good? good? Good. Let's get to it. Travis. Are you good? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, look. It's gonna be fine. 
Alright, you guys are going to get out there. You're going to film this thing. We're going to get famous, right? <laughs> right. Here. This is the night vision camera. Switch this button on here for night vision mode. Take it. Thanks. Travis, get your coat. Let's go. I don't know, Grant. It's been a couple hours now. We haven't seen anything all day. I mean, this thing's probably not even out right now. We should just go back to camp. <laughs> yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Hey, maybe he's right. We could head back to camp, just take a couple hours, and come back out at around dawn or something. All right, fine. This is Grant to base camp. Come in, base camp. This is Grant to base camp. Frank, are you there? Mm, maybe his radio died? No, oh, he has extra batteries. And we checked in, what, like 20 minutes ago? Frank, if you can hear me. There's nothing out here right now. We're gonna come back your way and try again later, okay? Shit. All right, guys, let's go, come on. Whoa, Bo hold up. Is that the gun? What the fuck, what happened? This isn't right. Frank! Wait! Get down, right now. Oh my god. Something obviously attacked Frank. And it's strong as hell. He didn't even get a shot off. Come on, let's go. Oh, Frank, what happened? Where are you? Holy shit! Shit, you guys get over here right now! Now, goddammit! Jesus. Oh my fucking god. He was just... Oh fuck. Holy shit. What the this. Fuck? Oh my god. What was that? You guys heard that, right? What are you doing with the It's our brightest light, asshole. Just shut up and listen. Sensor. Oh, shit. Try, try, try the night vision. The night vision. Can you see anything with that? No. Guys, guys, guys! Oh, no, shit! Go, 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 fuck! Oh, fuck shit. Run! Fuck! Dean! Travis, come on! Let's go! <laughs> Oh, we have to go. Is it still behind us? I don't know. I haven't seen it. Oh, shit! Oh, God damn it! Uh, uh, I think we're okay. Okay? Oh god, I think I broke my fucking ankle again. <sighs> <sighs>
Go clap! No, don't touch it! Don't touch it! Don't touch it. No, don't. Don't touch it. Okay. No, don't touch it. Okay. No. Don't leave me. I'm not gonna leave you. I'm not gonna leave me. Come on, let's get this off. Come on. Take it off, take it off. Take it off. You're right, man. You're right. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. okay. It's going on a shock, okay? Okay. You should stay with me, okay? Okay. okay. You can you can do this. I'm not an invader. I'm sorry. I'll go. Major! What the hell is this? Damn tourists. I told you so. I'm 
watching you you don't have a clue the hunt is on when the goat man comes for you